Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to write the spec file for the post.service.ts file. We have we have already written the test cases for a service which has a dependencies, something like calculator.service.ts file. It has a dependency of logger service and for in order to resolve the dependency, we have used the test bed to solve that one. So fine, it is fine. But here, the dependencies what we are having is the HTTP client. So how we can resolve this type of HTTP client dependency? I will show you the traditional way how we can solve this one. So whatever whatever we have learned up to now about the spying and all those things, let's try to solve that one using those methodology. And afterwards, I will tell you another new library client, HTTP client testing module. So with using that one Angular's uh, HTTP client testing module, how we can write the test cases, I will show you another thing. So first we will try to do the, try to write the uh, spec files, uh, test cases for this post service which has a dependency of HTTP client. Let's create a new file, post.service.spec.ts. So this is the spec file and here I am writing describe of post service. So this is, we are writing the spec test cases for the post service and this is the thing. Now, here we will be having a before each method. So, to have anything code to be executing prior when any test case running. So, we need to write it. Now, what is the test case we need to write? First, we need to write the test cases for the get post method. So, what is this get post is doing? So, get post will try to call the HTTP get method and it will give you the list of all the posts. So, now in the test cases, what we can do is we cannot call directly this a get post thing. <coughs> And we cannot do it. Why? Because so this in order to run in the test cases. So in order to run this get post, so it will try to make you the real call for this JSON placeholder thing, and it will try to get the details from it. So we don't want that behavior. So instead of that one, so we need to mock this HTTP, and instead of calling this directly the URL, so we will pretend we will pretend that it has called the URL, and we will try to get the result. So let's try to do this one. So here. So what is the first case? So we need to write describe again. We am writing the test suite. So for the get post method, so get post method need to write. And here in this one, it should return expected post when get post is called. So this is the test case. Now we need to write the test case. In order to get run the in order to get this in order to call this get post method, what we need to do? We need to get the instance of this post service. So let's try to get the instance of this post service. So here I am writing let post service it is of type post service. Okay. So I have called this post service. Now here we let's try to call here post service is equal to new post service. So I am calling a method new post service. But here it depends on the HTTP client. So let's try to create a spy object for that one. Let's HTTP client spy z of type jasmine dot spy object. We are trying to create the spy object of type HTTP client. Okay, that's it. Now, so now it depends on this post service depends on the HTTP client. So let's try to create a spy object for that one. So HTTP client spy is equal to jasmine dot create spy object for the HTTP client. Okay. So this is an optional thing. So just for reference, so for which we are creating the object, I am writing that one. So first I am writing for the get op, get method. So this is the get method. In HTTP, we have a get methods, right? So here we are able to see this HTTP is calling the get method. So I am, I am creating a mock, mock method for this one, get method. Now I will pass this HTTP client spy to this one. That's it. <coughs> so now we have created a spy object. Now what I need to do, I need to call this one. So here what I can do in the describe method. So let's try to do HTTP client spy. Sorry, HTTP, HTTP client spy dot get value. So we have a get value and so we need to define the return value for this one. So what is the return value? We need to return the observable of post. So where can I get this one? So we have already written a spec file. We have a list of posts here. 
so let's copy these all posts okay and come to here so let's create let here i'm copying this one so here we are having the post data and this h whenever whoever calls the http client i am i need to return the observable of post that's it so let's import this off from the rxjs that's it now we we have defined the return value what should be written whenever a http client get is called now here i need to call post service whenever we call the post service dot get post method so now whenever i subscribe to this one so here i need to get something like next when it is success so we will be getting the post here and here i need to write so what we need to write we got the post method and we need to check that whether the post data whatever the post data we are getting here should be equal to the post what we have sent so this is the post we need to check and here i can write expect post to equal to equal of post that's it so now if any error comes or anything so you can write something like so we will try to handle this error thing also so at the last when this one is finished so when this one is finished when this one is finished means so when this subscription post service get post is called so and also we need to make sure that this get post need to be this get http client get method need to be called only one time only so it should not call multiple times why because so it will be using the resource external resource so this is very valuable so we should not call more than one times so once if you are called to the external source to get the response that's it so you need to make sure that it is called only once so now you need to write here after the subscribe whenever the get post is called so you need to check expect of http client spy dot get method to have been called okay to have been called times of one so only one time need to be called that's it so we have written the two specs here expect of post to be equal to post and expects of this one to be equal to like this now let's try to see the output so if we try to run the npm test it is success and if i try to see the output see here we are able to get the output so let's execute this one again post service right post service get post method should return it has been called okay so another thing when you try to see in the jasmine course complete course you have seen another thing something like so this here subscribe so this may take some time to get the value right so this the expect will not execute for example if you have some time so let's try to do set time out okay and here i will be writing something like this or a so here i will try to do something like set time out of 200 or something like this so now we have written expect now if you try to see the output here the post service if i try to see the post service here you will be able to see spec has no expectations but we have written the expectation here expectation is there in the subscribe but in order to get the post data it may take some time so for that reason what we need to do is so here we have already discussed we need to add the done function okay done function so it is of type done function so now here i can remove this expectation and all those things set time out so whenever it is done so done okay we need to call done so whenever this done is called only so it will it may, the jasmine will think that okay this test case is completed now here you can use this one so whenever an error occurs or anything so you can use something like done dot fail that's it now let's try to see the output so if you try to see the output the post service it has been executed successfully here get post here now if i try to write get called get times of 2 so now if i try to see let's try to see if we get an error or not so now here we got an error that expected http client to have been called two times but it actually it was called only one time so we are able to see that it has been called only one time so our test case is passed so in this way we will be spying on this HTTP client. So whenever you want to resolve the dependencies, whenever a post service is dependent on this HTTP client, so you can use this type of approach. Okay, you can use this type of approach, and you can create a spy object for the HTTP client. And here you can check like this, and you do you can do like this. So the, now you can also use the test bed to in order to solve this issue also. In the next video, I will try to do this one to solve the same scenario using the test bed. And afterwards, I will tell you how we can solve this one using the HTTP client testing library. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you